Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you concept of how to bind YouTube video into Android application. For this we need YouTube Android player. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then in very next uh, screen you can give the name of your application. Here I am giving the name of my application that is you YouTube video application or you can say YouTube video app demo right uh, then you can click on finish uh, first of all you need to take care what whenever you want to play any YouTube video in your Android application you needs Android YouTube player as well as you need API key for YouTube so uh, if you don't have an account in Gmail then first of all you need a Google account for this right so let's start developing a project very simple first of all uh, you can choose your browser here in browser you can search for YouTube player API Android and here you can click on YouTube Android player API then in the second link over here you can click on download you need this API uh, dot jar file so first download this this you can click on where you want to download uh, I want to download in a download folder then you can click on save then once it is downloaded you can click so in a folder here now you can extract it whenever you extract this there is a one folder created over here that is youtube android player api here in libs folder there is a one jar file is there that is youtube android player api dot jar just copy this jar file and paste in your android in your android studio here in android studio you need to uh, here in project uh, you just need to select the project once you select the project then you need to move to your application libs folder is there in libs folder right click and just paste your file whenever you copy this uh, this file will be added to, to your project and that is youtube play uh, youtube android player api dot jar once you bind this youtube uh, android player api now it's a time to uh, add the implementation in build.gradle so here you can switch to android mode once you switch to android mode then you can click on gradle here in build.gradle of module app you can just double click over here and you need to add the implementation over here here our implementation is what we need to implement uh, our path that is that file that is we already copied in our folder that is libs right so here you can define the path that is files here in single quote you can just give uh, implementation that is files libs slash youtube android player api dot jar and you can just uh, close your parenthesis uh, this is the name of the file that you copied over here in your project libs uh, the name should be as the same as this uh, uh, you define in a libs folder so implementation files libs is my folder then youtube android player youtube android player api dot jar once you add this you need to synchronize your project once your synchronization is done now you will be able to access the uh, youtube android player in your project once it is done you need to add the permission in your android manifest file so second step is add the permission in android manifest file and that permission is related to internet you need definitely need to add the permission related to internet once you add the permission of internet now it's a time to define the design view so very simple way uh, you can just move to your activity main here in activity main we need to define our own fragment so here you can just uh, remove this text view 
and then you can add the fragment fragment is the tag available over here so you can just uh, define the fragment i'm just giving the uh, fragment that is width is match parent and uh, height that is wrap content once you define the fragment definitely we need to infer this why because we are using the constraint layout so here you can just uh, click on that is so layout decoration it will be look like as the same as we are uh, doing uh, in uh, that is available in a emulator now we need to define here two things one id is already given that is a uh, fragment name is there i'm just giving the name that is a uh, youtube fragment you can give over here right so i'm just uh, giving the name that is youtube underscore fragment then you need to define the name so i am uh, giving the name android colon name is the property now here in property you need to define the package and youtube player support fragment class so you just need to define the name of your package i'm just writing here com dot google dot android dot youtube dot play dot youtube player support fragment right once you define the package class all these things names now it's a time to write the code for this you need to verify it also this is the package name that is the com google android youtube player and this is the name of the class right uh, the name of the class is youtube player support fragment once you define this in your design file now it's a time to move on for the code here in code you need to get what you need to get your fragment first right so i'm just uh, getting my fragment first variable that is uh, for example i'm just giving the name that is youtube fragment is equal to here you can just uh, write the support fragment manager support fragment manager dot find fragment by id is the function here you just need to provide the name of your fragment here see i just given the name of my fragment that is youtube fragment so here here just you need to pass r dot id dot youtube fragment once you uh, find by id uh, you need to define uh, you need to initialize this variable see this variable is right now initialized with fragment i i want to initialize it with youtube player support fragment right so you can just uh, cast it to as youtube support youtube player support fragment once you cast this now you can find easily that this variable this my fragment is casted with the youtube player support fragment now it's a time to initialize the youtube player and key so whenever you are uh, calling this youtube fragment so you just need to call youtube fragment that is my variable over here that i uh, taken over here configured over here you just need to call youtube fragment dot initialize function here in initialize function there are two parameters one is you need to define the api key and the second thing that is you need to define the on initializer listener right so uh, let me uh, define here first initializer initializer listener so you just uh, you can uh, write the object colon on initialized listener in on initialized listener you need to implement the method i'm just uh, here calling it anonymously so i need to implement all the methods there are basically two methods available over here and that is on initialization success and on initialization failure here you need to implement both this method i will definitely write the code inside this but before this i need a api key to play a youtube video in my android application so let's see how to get the api key very simple here you downloaded youtube android player api earlier then you just need to click over here in the third tab that is register your app whenever you click on register your app you need to move to the credential page in credential page of the api console you can download 
the API key. It is provided by the Google. But you need to just take care of what? You need to sign in by the Gmail first. Once uh, it asks you to sign in with the Gmail, then uh, might be a chance if you are uh, creating first time API, then it will ask you for the create project option also here uh, they will give you option for the create project if you are uh, doing it first time once you create the project then uh, here in credential you can generate the api key right so you can just click on create credential and then you can click on api key whenever you key click on creating api key see this my api key is generated you can restrict this key also right now i am not restricting it right once your api key is generated i copied my api key so you can just simply move to your android studio and here you can just paste your api key once your api key is paste over here now it's a time to play the android video see my this p0 variable that is related to provider p1 variable that is related to player and this p2 it means uh, last uh, this video is played by the user or not if the uh, played by the user then do you want to restore it then this is related to p2 so i'm just changing the name of my variable here you can make it provider here you can make it instead of p1 you can make it player here instead of p2 here you can give the name that, that is like a was restored right once you give this type of name now it will be easy to understand for you guys if a player is equal to equal to null then you can just simply return if it was last restored it means uh, uh, somebody has already played my video then uh, simply player dot play is the method that it, it will be resumed from the last play but if it is not uh, last played then what you want to do so here in else case you need to bind your video now player dot q video is the function here you just need to provide the id of video id how to get the video id that i will definitely explain you and then you need to define that which player style you want to use let's get the video id from the youtube so here you can just uh, go to your youtube uh, suppose i am writing here android youtube youtube parag shukla android whenever you write like, write like this definitely they will uh, move to you any uh, <coughs> popular videos by Parag Shukla. So you can just click over here. Uh, definitely, it will launch my uh, pro, uh, video related to twinned animation, right? Uh, you can just click pause over here, and this is the YouTube URL. From YouTube URL, you just need to copy this uh, up to v is equal to, right? So let me copy this. You just need to copy this. Copy this id v is equal to that is view is equal to just copy this id and paste over here in q video it means my this video will be bind to my current android emulator once it is done now it's a time to define the what kind of player style you want see here uh, this is the default play style provided by the youtube right Hello. so this is the uh, default play style provided by the youtube I want the same uh, type of YouTube player in my Android application. So very simple. Here you can move to Android Studio and you need to define what player dot set player style. Here in set player style, you can define the different type of style also. I'm just defining what YouTube player dot player style dot here you can define the chrome less minimal and default here i am defining the default theme for my current application let me execute my this application it is working fine with my emulator or not now what it will do in uh, it will execute this application in my emulator 
in emulator it will first check for the permission yes permission is granted is implementation is done yes implementation is done is youtube fragment is given yes fragment is given add is it is initialized by the key yes it is initialized by the key as video is given yes video is given so it will try to execute application launch over here whenever you execute this see uh, it is uh, getting from the internet internet it will uh, youtube is searching for my this video depending upon the internet speed see it will be loaded over here here you can just click on play and definitely it will start the playing the uh, youtube video inside your android application this is see you can listen hello all welcome to my channel on android today i want to demonstrate you the concept of twinned animation let's start with developing a project first of all you can click on start new android studio project not only this suppose if you think that i want that uh, in a landscape mode the same way that you are doing your on your actual phone the same thing that is applied over here suppose if you think that i want it in a full screen mode then your uh, full screen mode will be launched and then you can execute it the same right the, again depending upon your Andro, uh, internet speed the video will be played over here this is the way you can play your youtube video into android application see this hello all. welcome to my channel on android today i want to demonstrate to you the concept of twinned animation let's start with developing a project so this is the way you can develop the application uh, you can get into another uh, application also and uh, you can bind your uh, so many android uh, youtube video into android application uh, that's it from my side thank you for listening me if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you